Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly general reading. It's going to go for the week of the 19th to the 25th, February 2017. My new subscribers, welcome. And thank you guys so much for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. All right, Sagittarius, let's get right into your cards. All right, so we're going to do the same. Um, the bottom card is going to be the overall energy card. Okay, we have the Six of Swords. Um, some of you could be going away, going on a trip. It says at the bottom, things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. I am using Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine's Angel Tarot. And all of the rest of the cards are also by Doreen Virtue. Let me mention too, if the reading doesn't resonate with you, you could look at your moon, your rising, your Venus signs. And also there's no gender. You know, so whatever it is for you, private readings, that stuff matters, but not in the generals. Um, those of you that would like a, a private reading with me, my contact info is always below all of the videos. Um, very easy to get a hold of me. Um, a week. Um, no more than a week. I'm going to flip all these cards over Sagittarius. All right, the Page of Cups and then and the Nine of Swords. Okay, listen, there, there's a lot of sadness here. It could revolve around a child, um, you know, 18 to 23, 25. But these two cards together, you know, this is um, like depression, sadness, you know, just... Like feeling really sad, worried, depressed, you know, functioning but not really. You know, the nine, the six of swords. Okay, is is a card about you know, you know, moving away from what no longer serves you, you know, putting the putting the worst behind you. You know, finally finding that light at the end of the tunnel. You know, this could definitely be a week where the stress, the strain definitely fades from your life. You know, for some of you, I mean, it could absolutely be the resolution of a conflict. And for others of you, you know, definitely leaving, you know, just moving on, moving forward. With the Nine of Swords, this is, you know, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, sleepless nights. You know, this is a card of up at 2, 3 a.m., just worrying. It's a card of, you know, going over an issue over and over and over again in your head. Then we have the Page of Water. You know, intuitive, sensitive. I mean, some of you could just be really, you know... Be highly intuitive this week. Um, you know, it says at the bottom, a new person enters your life. A relationship begins. A new phase. Heightened physical, physical, heightened physical, psychic. High, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Sagittarius. You're my first reading this morning. It's Saturday morning. I'm stumbling over my words already. A relationship begins. A new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. You know, some of you could just be really feeling intuitive this week, but I do feel maybe for a very small, small number of you that you know, there could be a child, let's say that's leaving, going away for college. You know, that would cause sadness, depression. I've been there, you know, it's not easy to see your child, you know, go off to college, especially if they're going far away. And for others of you, I just get the sense that maybe you are ending or leaving a relationship. It is very emotional. You're depressed about it, but for whatever reason, you're leaving. But listen, the Ace of Pentacles is right under that. So whatever it is, you know, there's definitely a new beginning. You could be moving to a new home. 
starting a new relationship, but ending one as well. Let's see what the rest of the cards say. I'm sure we'll come back to that. We get messages from the from the fairies. Problem solved. Um, you know, it, it's an issue that's been bothering you. You know, for a while, and you're you're being, you are being healed behind the scenes. You know, even if you, it doesn't seem like it right now. But the solution is definitely being created for you to bring you joy, even surprises for you. You know, with this card, you will definitely soon be receiving good news. You know, it could be right down to, you know, if there's a, a, a relationship that's emotional and it's just strained, strained right now, that definitely will, There, there's healing there. You know, there could be absolutely an unexpected financial resource. It could be a new career opportunity, a romantic proposal. Whatever it is, though, you know, just try not to worry so much to, or try to figure it out. You know, the solution will definitely be achieved this week. Um, I think it'll be fine, whatever it is. Loving words from Jesus. Nothing shall be impossible unto you. Matthew 17, 20. Beautiful verse. Those of you that would like to pick up the Bible and read that verse this week. Beautiful. Archangel Oracle cards. Okay, beautiful. Okay, we do have relationship harmony. Now, all right, it says, We the angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Beautiful. I, I just said that. I, I was feeling that. I do feel that strongly, you know. Problem resolved. You know, those of you that are married in long-standing relationships, it's only the week, you know. We all go through that stage. For some of you, I really do feel like it could have a lot to do with a child or a relationship, which whatever it is for you, it's a general reading. But um, with this card, you know, your prayers for personal peace are, have definitely been answered. You know, there's definitely peace and happiness coming into this situation by Wednesday. There definitely is. You know, things will be restored. Whether, you know, if you are, you know, searching for peace by moving out, whatever you're doing to bring this peace back into your life, it's working. Oh, as soon as you walk away. Um, leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. Okay. You guys want to make a change. You want to move forward. We see that here with the Six of Air. Six of Swords. You want to move on. And this card is saying that it is safe for you to make that desired change. You've been wanting to do so for a long time with this card, but you've hesitated. Could be out of fear. Could be about what the future holds. It could be a fear of how people will react to your decision. But with this card, it just validates that it really is time to leave. And you'll be happier and healthier once you do this. Um, dream big. Dolphins and the mermaids. Let go of small thoughts about yourself and see yourself as succeeding. In the past, maybe you seen yourself as insignificant. This card does ask you to release any feelings or thoughts that you have of inferiority. Like, you know, truly believe that you are utterly qualified, you know, for any endeavor that you could dream big about. 
even with this card there are fears about moving forward but you know it's like you don't need to take giant steps test the waters test the waters Regardless, of I, whatever this is that's going on for you guys this week, there is definitely a lot of sadness, a lot of worrying, um, even being depressed at the beginning of the week. I definitely, definitely see that. That's a clear indication. But also, things coming full circle, I really feel like. Okay, um, butterfly, oracle cards, finances. Now, for some of you... You know, this card does definitely signify, you know, a change in your financial situation. And how ironically that we have the Ace of Pentacles underneath this. You know, maybe some of you really want to move forward. You know, maybe move to a new home. Just move, okay? Just move forward in any, whatever, however that resonates for you. Walk away. Whatever, whether it's a relationship, a job. I mean, th there's definitely, if you're worried about having the money to be able to make sure that this will happen for you. With this card peeing in my hand and that card being right there. I, I would have to say so. So there's definitely... Um, Don't just don't allow yourself this week to assume that you know. Try not to be negative. I guess is what I'm saying. Cause this this card def, does hurl big rewards. You know, it it could be for you know diligent work that you've that you've done in the past. You know, it's, I, I, find, I, I look at this card sometimes and, I, and I, it just reminds me of the Seven of Pentacles. You know, it's, it's the, you know, the things that you planted in the past are finally now ready to come to fruition. Like things are starting to grow for you to where you feel stable, safe, secure. If it does have to do with somebody new coming into your life you're worried about moving on maybe in in this new relationship it would be a scorpio pisces cancer thinking about leaving one relationship for this new love relationship and those of you that are thinking about doing that i do sense you will do that you will move forward i was just going to say another of you are going to give your relationship a chance work on your partnership definitely You know, emotional, emotionally, for some of you, you could have just, you know, feel like leaving the situation, but not literally. Okay, we have deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in the relationship. I usually do see this as, you know, lying, cheating, but with a sincere, I always, you know, a sincere apology. Um, you know, trying to gain that forgiveness. Now listen, always in my readings, if it's not you, it would be the other person you're thinking about, involved with. Um, yeah, but this separation absolutely could have a lot to do with um, you know, deception. Whatever deception is for you. Listen, guys, this is, I haven't seen this combination in a long, long, long time. Deception and unrequited love. There's just not enough love or attraction to keep this relationship going. Um, yeah. Some of you are definitely walking away. You're definitely ending a relationship. For sure. Maybe not this week. You're waiting for the finances, the money situation to improve. But... 
once you do this, you there you are going to have more peace, joy, happiness, without a doubt. And then some of you are really just going to let it go and give the relationship a chance. Okay, Sag, that is all I have for you. I hope this message helps you guys out for the week. Um, it's only for a week. You know, a lot of you could just be emotionally feeling this way too. It's, you know... Really towards the end of the week, beginning of next week, things will start to look more peaceful for you. All right, Sag, leave your comments. You guys know how much I love your comments. All right, guys, have a, have a beautiful week. I will see you guys back here soon. Take care. Bye-bye.